What's up, guys? This is EJ Holland with TheWolverine.com, and I was out in Florida over the weekend seeing Michigan quarterback commit Carter Smith in the 2025 recruiting class. Now, Carter is the defending Gatorade Player of the Year in the state of Florida, one of the country's most dynamic dual-threat quarterbacks. Unfortunately, in this game, Carter just didn't have a ton of time to do much. You know, I think playing against a West Boca team that is stacked with division one recruits carter was under pressure all night which you see here he was kind of running for his life uh around the pocket and just trying to scramble and get yards i think with um you know carter it's been a work in progress as far as his mechanics uh you see him make a really nice throw there but he's kind of afraid to set his feet because his offensive line isn't very good and that was the thing with carter this summer was getting his feet right getting his footwork better uh, but we haven't really been able to see that this season because he's again as you see here constantly under pressure and having to run so i think it'll be interesting to see how carter progresses as a pure passer at the next level he definitely has the arm strength he's a kid that through in the 90s when he played baseball as a sophomore um so i i think carter has a lot of upside he's definitely uh a kid that can continue to take the right steps over the next couple years once he gets the right quarterback coaching from kurt campbell at michigan uh, but I think the thing that gives Carter, along with having a high upside, he has a, a pretty high baseline just because he's a dangerous runner, which you see here on a 15-yard touchdown. You're going to see him score again here um, as, a, as a runner. So with Carter, he gives you that baseline as a runner. He's a guy that's definitely more mobile than anybody Michigan has on the roster right now, including Alex Orgy. He, he's a guy that legit can make a ton of plays with his legs i think with carter again it's all about just developing him as a pure passer he is set to enroll early at michigan